Reporting live from Starbucks. This is the first pit stop of many on our road trip to LA. Is LA my favorite place? No. Are we going there? Yes. I'm gonna walk around, do some shopping at the Americana, probably go to Porto's. Let's do a fit check. Jeans, this top from Are You Am I, and this white button up, and these shoes that I stole from my mother. I'm a selfish kind of person. As you can tell from some previous footage, I did some shopping. I normally don't shop in person at all. I'm such an online shopper. I came across some really good finds, so I just wanted to share with you what I purchased from some stores like Anthropology and other stories, Aritzia. So I really think you'll like this video. Please give my channel a subscribe. It does mean a lot to have your support. I am going to share with you each item and do a try on. That way you can see what the pieces of clothing look like on. But I'm going to start off with and other stories. I've been really trying to rebuild my wardrobe and get more quality basics that I know will last that will go with a lot of outfits okay so the first item that I got is really just a plain black t-shirt and I kid you not when I felt this in the store I just knew immediately I had to get it it is the softest material I got it in a size extra small and it does retail for about $49 I know what you're thinking $49 for a t-shirt but really the quality of this is just so soft and it's airy and it just has a really nice fabric so trust me on this one up next I decided to get a plain black turtleneck long sleeve and the reason I decided to get this basic is because I've actually had one a plain black turtleneck since college since 2017 and I got it from Abercrombie and Fitch and I just wore that thing down and I was looking through my closet and I was like it's time to get rid of this it is past its useful life so I really needed a brand new black turtleneck the black on the other turtleneck was starting to fade and it just looked ugly it didn't look very high quality so I decided to get this one and this one I got in a size oh it's a size 2 US 2 and this one also retailed for $49 so I love wearing turtlenecks especially during fall and winter they're one of my favorite things to wear I'm really excited about this one so basically almost all their sweaters in the store were about $49 which I personally think is a really good deal most of their other sweaters were running for like $100 or more and I was like that's way way too much for me right now but I did decide to just get this sort of mock neck beige sweater and it's so soft I feel like it's not too thick I did get this in a size extra small came in a lot of other colors camel black white so if you're looking for a good quality sweater um, this one was $49 and I do recommend it it fits really nicely as well I can picture myself wearing this in so many different ways all right so up next is the tennis skirt from Aritzia I originally wanted it in the color black but white is just as pretty I did already wear this out once I wore it with a lululemon sports bra the photo is on my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram definitely give me a follow there my favorite favorite part about these is that it has shorts built in so you really don't have to worry about it being too short it's super athletic fit and it's so stretchy like so true to size i promise you there's enough stretch this will definitely fit you if you just order it in your right size this next item really caught me off guard and by surprise because i was so against these hats and my sister actually convinced me and it grew on me and i just fell in love with these hats now and it's actually the felt rancher hats and i was lucky enough to find this one in anthropology i know online these hats usually retail for 100 to 150 dollars and this one was about 70. the reason i love this one so much is because there is this sort of oh my goodness i'm having a brain fart right now i can't remember 
what the name of this is, but it's sort of like this stretchy material so it stays fitted to you. One huge problem that I have with some of my hats is that they fly off or they don't stay on if it's really windy or I'm walking around outside, whereas this one, it will not come off. Okay, lastly is this blazer that I found such a good steal. Uh, I was in Nordstrom Rack one day just going through and digging and I found this gem. It's a blazer from Madewell and if you shop at Madewell then you know that their stuff is not cheap. Their blazers can be $200 and I saw this one in Nordstrom Rack for $90 and I double checked online and it was not on sale on Madewell. It was the full price so for me to find this in Nordstrom Rack I knew right away I had to have it. The fit was absolutely immaculate. It fit perfect to the T. It's an oversized plaid blazer well not even plaid I wouldn't know how to describe this pattern but I got it in a size small I'm just in love with this blazer I can picture myself wearing it with shorts with tights with a full fall outfit and jeans and a scarf I am just very excited for the many different ways that I can wear this blazer next up I'm really excited for these I feel like you'll either really love these or really hate these but I did decide to get a pair of platform loafers so funny because I instantly fell in love with these and when my sister saw these come in she was like I do not like those I don't like the platforms they're too 90s for me for me that was actually what I really loved about these so maybe these will go out to style really fast i'm hoping not i did get these because i'm hoping that they'll be a staple piece that will last in my wardrobe for quite a bit i feel like these even go with the outfit that i'm wearing right now or even wearing them with like a little bit of high socks i don't know i really do love these they are sam edelman i got them in a size six and a half the only thing about this shoe is that it is very heavy for some reason when i'm wearing them when i'm walking in them they feel super comfortable but it's a heavy shoe i don't know what it would be like to wear these all day i don't know if i'm going to keep these and return them to try to find something a bit lighter i really do want to test these out but of course i can't really get them dirty if i want to try to wear them all day it's a bit of a hard decision here but these are really pretty i love the platform everything about them it's just that they are super heavy so i don't know what it's going to be like if i did wear these all day i'll keep you all updated but there's a lot of different ideas i have in my head of how i would like to style and wear these so i'll keep you updated they were more expensive. I was able to get these because I had gift cards. I think they're worth it. They are pricier, but again, good shoes. You get what you pay for, so. All right, my friends, that is it for my video today. Leave a comment down below. I do read each and every comment, and please don't forget to give my channel a subscribe. Each and every one of you do mean so much to me and my growing channel. I post new content every single week about fashion, lifestyle, home videos, so if you want to see more of that, definitely give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, I will see you again very soon. Bye.